If you chase him, you will lose him. Even if he goes cold on you or pulls away, never chase a man. Instead, do things that make him want to chase you, value you, and fall in love with you. Hi, my name is Matthew Coast, and today I'm going to be showing you what to do to bring a man closer to you so that he falls in love and wants to be with you and only you. And the first thing that you have to make sure that you do is never chase a man. So what, what do you want to do instead? Number one is you want to shift your focus from the man to the relationship. And so this seems really, really counterintuitive to a lot of women because they think, okay, there's this guy that I want. How do I get him? But in reality, it's your constant focus on trying to get that guy that actually makes him pull away from you and actually makes it less likely that you're going to get him. And instead, what you should do is start focusing on this relationship that you want to have and make it so that he has to prove himself in order to get into that relationship with you, right? He has to prove that he's going towards that relationship and he's going to take you there. And if he doesn't do that, he's disqualifying himself from being someone who can be with you. Number two is you want to show romantic interest in him. So there's something that I call the attainability principle. And, um, what it is, is that most people will only pursue something if they believe that there's a pretty good chance that they're going to be able to get it. And so if he doesn't think that what you guys have is leading towards some kind of romantic relationship, he's probably not going to continue to pursue you. If you want him to pursue you and chase you, make sure that you show him that you like him and then open up a space for him to pursue you. And we'll talk about how to do that just here in a second. So number three is you want to give him different ways to chase you. So this, there's something that I call the investment principle. And basically what the investment principle says is that the more invested he is in you, the more likely he will get attached, he'll fall in love, and he will fear losing you. And so you want him to invest in you as much as you can because the more that he invests in you, the more that he will just think that you're amazing and awesome and never want to let you go. And so he needs to invest in you by putting energy and effort into being with you and doing things with you. So the less he does of these things, the more he's more likely he is to walk away. So the less invested he is, the more likely he is to leave. The more invested he is, the more that he'll feel like you're valuable and unique and special and like he doesn't ever want to let you go. And so you have to make sure that you give him ways to chase you and invest in you. Number four is give him space to chase you. And so there's something called the law of familiarity. And this is kind of a sad, it's a sad law. We cry about it sometimes. And what the law of familiarity states is the more you're around someone or something, it could be anything, the more you take it for granted just naturally, not because you're malicious and you want to take it for granted, but you just do. For instance, let's take a song. So let's say that you hear a great song and you're just like, oh my God, I love it. And you Shazam it. And then you got that song. You're listening to it all the time. It doesn't matter how good that song is. If you listen to it on repeat over and over and over again for days on out, what's going to end up happening is eventually it's not going to seem as great to you anymore. However, if you stop listening to that song, but only listen to it every once in a while, or suddenly you hear it on the radio or something, all of a sudden you'll be like, yes, you know, like it's that song. It's my favorite song again, right? And you'll be dancing and you'll love it, right? Because you had that space, right? There's this space between the times that you heard it. And so the law of familiarity didn't kick in. And so the way that this works in relationships is you have to give him space to chase you. So avoid smothering him, 
uh, have other things going on in your life. Have a real life that you have things going on that are separate from him and what's going on with him. So you're not obsessing over him and what's he doing and what did he say on social media and why is he liking her posts and all that kind of stuff. Instead, have your own life and focus on your own life and building up your own life and creating your own things in, in your, your life and for yourself. That way he can miss you because you're not always around, right? He can't miss you if you're always there. The only time he can miss you is if you're not there. And so you want to give him space where he starts missing you and he wants to see you again and he craves you and he's like, oh, I want to have her back in my arms again. I just want to kiss her all over her body and I just, I can't wait to see this amazing woman again. You want him to miss you and feel like he can't wait to see you again. And so you need to give him some space to actually chase you. And then number five is you want to create a deep emotional connection with him. You cannot bore a man into falling in love with you. I know that may be shocking, but you can't bore a man into falling in love. So he needs to feel good emotions when he's around you. So much so that he starts associating good emotions to you. So whenever you feel something around something, like anytime you're around somebody, if you feel really good around them, eventually you'll start feeling good just when you see them right? And you see them and you feel good, right? And you don't even know why. And it's the same thing with negative emotions. So if you're constantly creating negative emotions or no emotions at all, you're going to feel that when you're around that person. And so you want to create good, positive emotions when you're around. You want him to feel those emotions when you're around him. Because when he thinks of you, you want him to think of how good he feels when he's around you. That's what you want. You want him to feel like he can't wait to see you again, how he wants to love you and protect you and treat you like the queen, the amazing, valuable, awesome woman who deserves to be cherished. That's how you want him to feel about you. And so whatever kind of situation you're in right now, if you want to turn things around and get the guy, get this guy chasing you, here's what you should do. I put together a video about my system for how to turn things around with a man. If he's pulled away or gone cold or if he's ignoring you and you feel like you need to chase him, I actually have something special, which is called the four word text message that a lot of the clients that I have have used it and And this has resulted in them getting these men, they'll send this forward text message to a guy and the guy ends up realizing that it was a mistake for him to pull away. And a lot of times these men will apologize to these women and, you know, ask them out for drinks or dinner or something like that just to make up for pulling away in the first place. And I also reveal a five word phrase that you never want to say to a man because it will destroy his attraction for you. Even if he was totally head over heels in love with you, if you start saying these five words to him, It'll just destroy his attraction and his love for you and push him out of your life no matter how much he liked you before. And so if you want to know what that four-word text message is and you want to hear about that that five-word phrase, click the button on the right-hand side of this screen to watch that video right now.